welcome to Arts Academy Charter Middle School's first ever National Junior Honor Society induction ceremony. We gather here to formally recognize these students who have been selected by the faculty of our school for successful completing of their candidacy and are being inducted as new members. The Virtuoso, our National Honor Society chapter. Our current inductees represent the standards of excellence required of members of the nation's oldest, largest, and most pre prestigious student recognition program. The formation of our school's National Junior Honor Society chapter indicates the continuing emphasis on excellence that we represent from our school and our community. Throughout the year, the members of our chapter will serve as role models for other students. In addition to the strong academic records which establish the eligibility of membership, our chapter members are leaders in serving their school, home, church, and civic communities. Even during the challenges of social distancing this past year, our students found ways to volunteer, lead, and give back. In addition, our inductees have won numerous awards in and out of school, including scholarships to arts and academic programs. We look forward to organizing service projects with our members in the future and welcome their input and experience. We are proud of this record and the accomplishments of our new members. It is at this time that we proclaim to all in attendance that membership in the Virtuoso Chapter of the National Junior Honor Society has been earned by these candidates through the effective demonstration of the five qualities that serve as standards for the society. Our school principal, Mrs. Hirsch, and our guidance counselor, Ms. Tachina, will now review these qualities for the candidates. And we start with scholarship. Scholarship. Scholarship denotes a community to learning. A student is willing to spend hours in reading and studying, knowing the lasting benefits of a cultivated mind. We should continue to learn, even when formal education has ended, for human education ends only with the end of life. Knowledge is the great element in life, which leads to the highest success and can be acquired in only one way, through diligence and effort. Learning furnishes the lamp by which we read the past, the torch that guides us to understanding the present, and the light that illuminates the future. Candidates have the charge to continually expand their world through the opportunities inherent in scholarship. Next is service. Service can be established in the routine of the day's work where many opportunities arise to help others both at school and in the community. A willingness to work for the benefit of those in need without monetary compensation or public recognition is the quality we seek in our membership and promote for the entire student body. We are committed to volunteering our time and talents to the creation of a better tomorrow. Leadership. Leadership should exert a wholesome influence on the school in taking initiative in the classroom and in the school activities. The real leader strives to train and aid others to reach their common goal of success. The price of leadership is sacrifice. The willingness to yield one's personal interests for the interests of others. A leader has self-confidence and will go forward when others hesitate. No matter what power and resources may exist in the school, community, or the nation, they are ineffectual without the guidance of a wise leader. Leadership is always needed. Thus, to lead is a meaningful and substantive change to each of our members. Character. 
Character is the force within the individual that distinguishes each person from others. It creates for each of us our individuality, our goodness. It is that without which no one can respect oneself nor hope to attain the respect of others. It is this force of character that guides one through life and once developed grows steadily within. Character is achieved and not received. It is the product of constant thought and action, the daily striving to make the right choice. The problem of character is the problem of self-control. We must be in reality what we wish to appear to others to be, rather than to seem. By demonstrating such qualities as respect, responsibility, trustworthiness, fairness, caring, and citizenship, we may hope to prove by example that we value character. Citizenship. Citizenship is the obligation that each member of our society faces to live up to. The democratic ideals given to us by the founders of our country. The responsibilities each of us has to our home, community, and state, our nation, and our world is many. As good citizens, we are bound to live up to the laws and guidelines which unite us as a civilized society. Good citizens work together to improve not only our lives, but the lives of our fellow citizens. Good citizenship requires that we remain strong and vigilant in protecting the freedoms, the rights that have been granted to us, and in preventing injustice from entering in our lives. We, the members of the chapter, are called to live up to the high standards of citizenship from this day forward. It is at this time that we ask all new inductees to please rise, raise your right hand, and repeat the pledge. I pledge to uphold. I pledge to uphold the high purposes of the National Junior Honor Society. The high purposes of the National Junior Honor Society. To which I have been selected. To which I have been selected. I will be true to the principles for which it stands. I will be true to the principles for which it stands. I will be loyal to my school. I will be loyal to my school. And will maintain and encourage. And will maintain and encourage the high standards. The high standards of scholarship. Of scholarship. Leadership. Leadership. Service. Service. Citizenship. Citizenship. And character. And character. Thank you. You may be seated. And now, as your name is called, please step forward and receive your certificate and your name. Allison Alfaro. <laughs> Timothy Brown.
Kehlani Roman. Congratulations, and you may possess that. 